going to be my contribution to the rant on action cams and this applies to all the makers Sony, Contour, Drift and GoPro uh, I won't make mine as long because uh, three people that I know of have already done it and probably even more Navy Thomas, Aid has done it Darth Peachy has done it and Moonfleet41 has done it also known as Dell Boys Garage I'll post, post the links down below if you want to check out their videos but basically what we are asking all the moto vloggers and all of our friends to do is if you have a problem with action cams not responding to some things that the moto vlogging community would like such as in my case if uh, most of the moto vlogging or if a lot of the moto vlogging community is drilling a hole in the side case for a microphone input so that it can make it useful why can't the manufacturer take that as a little bit of a hint and do it themselves and yeah I know well, I can just go ahead and, you know, I've, I've had people reply to me when I mention this on Facebook. Well, you can just drill the hole yourself. Yeah, that's true, but it's not the point. The point is for us to contact the manufacturers as moto vloggers and have the manufacturers start listening to us, actually. It's not just people that ride on surfboards and snowboards, people that do uh, BMX bikes, people that do MX motorcycles. It's also us moto vloggers that are part of the community and part of the source of a lot of the money they receive. So I want us to be the ones that are listened to also. So my suggestion would be, you don't necessarily have to do a video rant about it. If you feel like doing that, go ahead. But if nothing else, um, what I did as an example was I went on the GoPro webpage uh, on Facebook, their Facebook page, and uh, posted my concerns up there. And last I checked, it's still up there. They didn't pull it down or anything, and I've also had some responses to it. So hopefully GoPro will at least look at that and notice. But if your favorite action cam is a drift, go to the drift page on Facebook or go to customer service, send them an email. Something to get them to realize they need to start listening to us as moto vloggers and pay attention to, uh, to what we want, too and mention what specific thing you would like to see in the camera. Maybe in drift it's not something changed in the external microphone input. Maybe it's something else about the drift camera you would like to see them change to make it a more moto vlogging friendly camera. Mention it and send an email. So anyway, that's my little part of the community rant for that. And secondly, I want to talk about the August 17th meetup. Okay, this guy's pulling out of his driveway there. Okay, you notice me? The August 17th meetup in Canton, Ohio, and it's actually in North Canton. It's going to be the meetup spot where we're all going to rendezvous to go to the park where the barbecue is going to be is uh, the McDonald's right off of exit 111. If you're headed north on 77, you're going to exit at 111th Street, turn left, you'll see a BP Amico on the right, and then you'll see a McDonald's on your right. Try to be there between 1 and 1.30 on August 17th. If for some reason you can't, you're more than free to contact either me or Navy Thomas has also made it available that you can contact him. Contact us through a PM on YouTube and we'll give you our phone number so that if for some reason you don't arrive on time or you're delayed or something like that, we can coordinate. We will make sure nobody gets left out. If you get there at McDonald's and it's like uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you've got a way to contact us, contact me or Navy Thomas. Somebody will run out there and we'll make sure you get into the right place. Nobody's going to get left out. And remember, it's Eastern Standard Time, too. So if you're coming from the Central Time Zone like I am, you are actually... I'll be arriving there between 12 and 12.30 my time. So I'll be sure and set your clocks for the time zone because in the eastern part of the Midwest, there are two time zones. And then right after that meetup that's going to be hosted by... Mr. Polymers, he's so graciously hosting the first part of the meetup and paying for uh, the food and all that kind of stuff and the drinks and the refreshments. Then the second part of the meetup right after that's over is hosted by the Southern Cruisers Rider Club, Chapter 401, namely John and Keith, also known as the Buckeye Boys. They are opening our clubhouse to use, like they said, as long as we want. So my plans are after the meetup, head out with the Buckeye Boys, and I'm going to probably spend at least three, if not five days. I'm going to try to spend five days, if I can, at the clubhouse. Hang out with all my friends and stuff. There's uh, 
indoor accommodations, outdoor accommodations, whatever. We've got, you know, places to set tents up. We could, they could accommodate quite a few people, so. I'd like to give a big thanks to that. A big thanks to Mr. Polymers for hosting the first part of the meetup, and a big thanks to the Buckeye Boys for the next part of the meetup. And I'm hoping to see at least a dozen people there. I think the way this is planned out from the response I've seen, if the majority of people that said they're going to come, comes, we should, uh, we should have more than 12 easily. So if it's at all possible, I'd like to see you guys there. And I think that's about all the information from now. I'll post all the applicable links. And uh, like I said, don't be afraid to PM me. I'll swap phone numbers with you and we can text your stuff. So. so if anything changes at the last minute, that way I can make you aware. If you don't, there ain't much I can do.